Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel and there are quite a few of you, my name is Maria and today it's all about the Chanel Le Beiges. As you are probably aware, quite a few of these products are re-promotes in the travel sizes. So I've only picked up the two new Coco Flash lipsticks. And although I think that the travel sizes are a great idea, especially if you use something like the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream a lot, it would be quite good to pick up a spare one. It's a lot smaller to pack when you travel. I don't really travel a lot. Later this year, I am going overseas. But apart from that, I really don't go away that much like I used to. But even though I haven't picked up the Le Beiges, the Water Fresh Tint in the travel size, or the Healthy Glow Bronzing Creams in the travel size, or the Healthy Glow Illuminating Oil. I will show you those again. The Healthy Glow Bronzing Creams, I have all three shades. So maybe you haven't got all three shades. I'll do swatches of those. I'm also gonna put a couple of the shades on today and now that these travel sizes are out you may think you may have one shade and then think yes that other shade would work for me as well so I'll pick up that in the travel size. So today's look is going to be very light makeup that's really what Le Beiges is all about it's just enhancing the beauty that you have and just giving an evenness to your skin and just an overall beautiful look. I've already got my primer on so we'll start off with the Le Beiges, the Water Fresh Tint. This is in medium. This is the second one that I've purchased. The other one was an empty and I had that in light medium. That shade works for me but also medium does as well. So I'm just going to put, I do a couple of pumps of this and then just break up the pigments. I love this tint. I love it more than the Le Beiges that was released last year. That was the Water Fresh. That one ends up being a little bit too glowy sometimes on my skin and I can really only wear that one more in the cooler months and sort of end of autumn, winter and beginning of spring. Whereas this one I can wear it all year round. And even though it's sheerer than the touch, I do find that this just evens out the complexion really, really beautifully. So what I've got on my fingers, I'm just going to just place on my face. And I mentioned this in my last video. And for these type of products, this one, the tint and the fresh, and also for cushion foundations as well, I've been loving using my Westman Atelier brush for that. So I just pick up some of the foundation. And this brush is great. It's not that soft. It's quite dense, but it's really good for stippling and foundation. And I find it just is really good with these tints. As I was saying, the fresh foundation as well and also a couple of cushion foundations that I've used with this because I've had this brush for quite a while and when I first got it I mentioned this in my last video I was a little bit disappointed with it because I went to swipe on my foundation and it's just not really for me soft enough for that but for stippling and foundation I think this is just perfect so I really love this foundation it just gives just such a really gorgeous evenness to the skin and if you really want that no makeup look then this gives it. I remember when I first got this tint and I put it on and I thought it's not really doing much but after about a minute or two it melds with the skin and it just evens everything out. Now it is sheer so I have broken veins through here. I also have some sunspots through here and you can still see them with this foundation and I'm fine with that. I still think it just gives a really beautiful just natural evenness. If you wanted to cover a little bit up you can always just pop a concealer over these bits as well but today I'm just going to leave it like it is. I think it looks really beautiful. And the travel size of the Le Beiges, it is 15 mils so it's going to be the same size as the 
Waterfresh blushes that came out last year and I am going to be using that today. And the price of this in pounds is 30 Eight pounds for the travel size in the tint foundation so I'm just going to put on some concealer under my eyes this is the Chanel sublimage beautiful concealer and although it would be great I'm sure for all age groups it is fantastic for mature skin I think it is a really beautiful concealer the river flows one direction. Fishes, they follow the flow But what if one tried to mention That there was much more to explore Here I am, I have a plan I live in freedom With the La Beige's Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream you can pop it on over top of the foundation before you powder because I am going to powder my face since I have oily skin. I do need to just place a little bit of powder over top of this foundation. I use it either way. You can either put it over the top of the foundation before the powder or I powder my face and then pop the bronzing cream over the top. And for me, both ways, it works really well. So today, first, I am going to powder my face. This is the Natural Finish Loose Powder, and this is in 30. Everything that I am putting on my face today, I will have listed and linked in the description box below. So I'm just going to give this a little shake. And I don't want to put too much of this powder on. So I'm just going to take my Lumia powder brush and just pick up a little bit of powder in here and just do quite a light dusting. So I have all three shades of the La Beige's Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. The travel sizes retail, and again this is in pounds, they are selling for £37. Today I'm going to use two shades. I'm going to use the lightest and the medium one, which I only picked up earlier this year. The deep one works for me as well, but today I just want to keep this look very light, so I'm going to stay away from the deep one. But what I'm going to do is I will swatch these on my arm so you can take a look. So apart from the travel sizes being smaller, the other difference is, and you can't quite see it now, you'll probably see it with the deep one that I've got because I use this one quite a bit, but they have like this in this size, this swirl of the cream and with the travel size ones it's just flat and you don't have that swirl. I think the formula of these are really beautiful. So this is the lightest one and this is number 390 Soleil Tan Bronze Universal. So I'll just swatch that one first and this one is very warm. The other thing with these bronzers if you're planning to purchase them is these have a little cap on top with this where you can just lift it off quite easily make sure that you always place that back on once you've opened it don't throw it away this is what helps keep the cream from drying out and then we've got number 392 this is Soleil Tan Medium Bronze and probably be able to see what I was talking about with the swirl, what they're like. The other one's gone away because I use it so much. This one's newer. So this has got the swirl. And as I was saying, the travel sizes, that is just flat and doesn't have that swirl in there. So here is the shade medium. This is still warm, but it's not quite as warm as the lighter shade there. And... When I just go to blend them out, you can see how how beautifully they blend out. It really is uh, easy to use and beautiful formula. And then finally is number 395, the Soleil 10 Deep Bronze. As I was saying, I do use this one. I've used quite a bit of it, but not when I'm doing a look like I am today, when I just want sort of hardly any type of makeup look. So this is tan deep. 
So this is the coolest out of the three, but it still has quite a bit of warmth. So we've got the lighter shade, medium and deep. So I'm going to start off with the lighter shade. And there are a couple of different ways you can put this on. If you use a beauty sponge, you can use that. I use a brush. And normally I tend to reach for a Sonia G one or also a BK Beauty one. Both work really well. The BK Beauty 106 works beautifully with this. And also this is a Sonia G. This is the classic base. So this is one of her fusion brushes, which is really good for putting on cream products. So with this bronzer, this is one that I'm going to put on the most. And I just swirl in there. And because this is the lightest one, you don't see a lot of it since my skin is light to medium, more towards medium. But I use it quite a bit because it does give... It gives a very subtle warmth for me and I really like the look. So you can see how easily this blends. And then I'm going to go into the medium shade and I'll swap brushes so you can see the BK Beauty one work as well. And as I was saying, this is the 106. So I'm just going to go fairly lightly with this just on the very outer here. As I was saying, I just want to keep keep this look fairly light but I often use both of these shades together so I'm only picking up a little amount I only want just that little bit of extra bronze but I just don't want to get too carried away and I think both together look really lovely and I'll just put a little bit extra just through here as well. So you can see, as I was saying, that since I've got powder on my face, this goes really beautifully over the powder, but if you prefer, you can put it, like I was saying, over top of the foundation first, and then a light powder if you want to. And for eyeshadow today, I'm going to use a LeBeige's one. This is in the shade Tender. This is called the Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette. This is very beautiful. And I'm only going to use today, as I said, I want to keep this look very simple. So I'm just going to use a couple of these shades. This one here, I'm probably not going to use it today, but it is beautiful. It's almost like... It's a bit more opaque than a topper, but it has this really pretty sparkle to it. I think this is a lovely palette. If you love pinks with some rose in it, you've got also a brown in here as well. This is a really gorgeous palette. So I'm going to go into this shade and just pop this all over the lid. This is a satin. So you'll still get just a very slight sheen, but it's just not going to look too much. And I'm just going in again, just add a little bit more, and I'm just going to take that just up through here. And then I'm just going to go into this shade here, and I'm just going to put that through the crease and just through here as well and really that is all I'm going to do I'm not going to add any extra I wore this the other day just using these two shades and I thought it looked very beautiful very light and natural so then I'm just going to go over the edges make sure it blends out and you get that softness and I don't have a harsh line but of course if you wanted to add more depth then you can go into the shade pop that in the outer corner and sweep it above as well it's also really lovely under the lower lash line but today I'm not going to do that I think like this it looks just really lovely but I am going to put some eyeliner on 
and I'm going to use the Chanel the Stilo waterproof and this is in the shade Espresso. I'm not going to put any on my lower lash line but I am just going to put a little bit through here. And for blush, I'm going to use the Le Beiges. This is the Water Fresh blush. This one is in the shade Light Pink. I have four of these blushes. I love them. I love the way that they go on. I love it that they just give a very subtle flush of color. So I just do one pump. It's probably a bit too much, actually. Probably half a pump would be enough. I don't think I'll be using all of this today. So just like with the foundation just break those pigments up and then you can see the shade start to come through and I really just want just the smallest amount of color to come through just so you get a very natural flush now I tend to tap these on using my finger you can also put them on using a beauty blender and they work really well with a brush. So as you can see, I've still got quite a lot left on my hand. So half a pump would have been enough. You can build this up, but I just wanted that very slight wash of color just to go with the really soft eye look as well. I am going to put on some highlighter today. I'm going to put on, this is the Le Beige's, the Sheer Healthy Glow. This is the highlighting fluid. You can also put this all over your face and wear it instead of a foundation. You can also put it underneath your foundation as well. Now this does work for me underneath a foundation, but it has to be more of a matte foundation. So something like the Chanel, the Ultra Wear one, I would put this on underneath if you want that lit from within glow. But this also works beautifully by itself as a highlighter. So you only really need the smallest amount. Just got a tiny bit on the back of my hand. This one is in Sunkissed. I won't be using all of this. I'm just going to pick up again just a little bit with my finger and just going to just tap it through here. This goes really well over the blush. It doesn't disturb the blush underneath. And it's just not too much. They call it a highlighter, but I think it's really subtle. And just a little bit over the other side as well. So I think just by using just the blush in a really subtle way and popping this just on the high point through here, you get a really beautiful glow and sun-kissed look. So now let's take a look at the lipsticks. These are the Rouge Coco Flash. And although all the Chanel lipsticks that I have, I have the Velvet and a couple of other formulas as well, the Bloom, these are my favorite, especially in the more nude shades. These are the ones that I pop in my bag if I'm going out. They're easy to apply. They're very moisturizing. They have a beautiful shine on them. I just think these are a gorgeous formula. So the two shades are 174 Destination and 176 Escapade. So first of all, take a look at 176 Escapade. That's the one that's a little bit more red. So it's just in the standard packaging, and I have used this and also done swatches for Instagram. So it's not in pristine condition, but I'll just hold it up so you can take a closer look. And I'll do a swatch of this on my arm. So that is Escapade. And I've also got 
four other Coco Flash lipsticks in front of me as well, and some of them were limited edition, some of the others aren't. I've got 170, and this is the shade Romance. I think this one was more of like a tomato red. So Escapade has a little bit more warmth in it. Then we've got number 146, and this is Dazzle. So this one is more orange. Then I've got number 162, and this is in the shade Sunbeam. So this one is more peachy. This is a really beautiful one. And when there's been limited edition releases, I only just pick up the one, and then there's always one out of the two or three or however have been released. There's usually one I really favour, and at the time, I should have always picked up a backup. Uh, this one is number 172, and this is Flannery. So this is more of the brown, but I just thought I would show you the different ones so you can see the shade comparisons. And now I'll just pop this on so you can see what it looks like. This is a really lovely shade. If you like these tones in a lipstick, I think this goes really beautiful. I probably prefer the other one, Destination, because I tend to like more nude type lipsticks. They're my everyday type of lipstick. But this is a really lovely shade. And with the light eye look, and then you get that pop of color on the lips, I think that is a really beautiful look. So now we'll take a look at Destination. So again, just going to swatch this on my arm. So this is Destination. And when I saw promo pics of this, I thought it was going to be very similar to Boy. And that's the one I'm going to swatch next. So I'm going to swatch that right next to it so you can see. So that is Boy and Destination. And next I'm going to swatch number 158. And this is Dawn, and you can see I do use this one quite a bit. So this one is Dawn. Next is number 116, and this is the shade Easy. This one has more pink in it. And finally is number 154, and I don't even know whether this will show up very much on my arm. And this is Dossier. This is the one that I wish I'd probably got at least two backups of. I absolutely love this. And although you probably won't be able to see it very well on my arm, I do think it is a beautiful shade on the lips. I'm hoping at some stage Chanel might bring this one back. So you can see, you can hardly see it. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. It's a nude with a little bit of pink sparkle in there. But it is a very beautiful shade. I'm just having a look in the monitor. You can only only barely see that. So I didn't with the other shades, but I think this is going to be the more popular shade. So I'm just holding it closer and I've just turned down the lights a little bit. So Escapade, Boy, Dawn, Easy and Dossier. So now I'm going to put on 174 Destination. And this is a beautiful nude. Now I am going to get a backup of this one. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. It's just gorgeous. And as I was saying before, I really love the formula of the Coco Flash. I think it is gorgeous. With this very light eye look, the light color of the blush wash, a little bit of highlight and a nude lipstick. Just a very, just a natural, everyday look, and definitely a Chanel Le Beige's look as well. Just enhancing just your natural beauty. So this was sitting in my background there. This is the one that was released last year. This is the 
full size. This is 250 mils. The travel size one is going to be 50 mils. This is glass. I imagine the travel size one will be as well. It is really beautiful packaging. And this illuminating oil, this is for the face, body and hair. I did try this last year on my face, but with my oily skin, it really is just a little bit too much. But if you had normal to dry skin, I think this would give a really beautiful glow. And when you tip the product, it looks like sand. It really just screams summer. And the smell of this is absolutely gorgeous. This has got jasmine infused oil in it. And it also has the light reflecting pearly pigments. This is also a dry oil. I also have one of their plain oils as well. And that's a dry one. They are a really gorgeous formula. I am sort of <laughs> collecting these. They released the Mademoiselle one a little while ago. I think that was towards the end of last year. And there was another one as well. The Pearly Drops. And I've got that one as well. So I've only used this a little bit because I rotate through all the different body creams and oils that I have. But if you use this a lot, if you've already got the full size, then you may want to pick up the travel size. Being 50 mils, it's going to be a lot lighter if you travel a lot. Or if you were interested in getting this and you didn't pick up the size, then probably the 50 mil is definitely worth a try. It is a really gorgeous oil. And I'm just going to just give it one more shake and I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand just so you, I can show you what it's like. Just going to put a little bit. You only really need a tiny amount of this. So it just gives a really gorgeous, gorgeous sheen and the smell is just beautiful. So I'm not sure whether you can see, but this, now that I only used a small amount, but it doesn't feel oily in any way. So when they say it's a dry oil, it is, and it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. It absorbs into the skin really quickly. The secret to it is not to use too much. Really, a little bit goes a long way, but it is a really lovely oil. And then finally I picked up, I don't know whether this was part of the new release or not, but they have recently released the Paris Paris and this is in the 50 mil size. I was talking about this in my other video. I got a couple of samples of this last year and when I first tried it, I didn't think much of it, but I think it was because I was trying a whole lot of other perfumes at the same time. So earlier this year, the other sample that I had, I thought I'll give it another go. And I just thought it was gorgeous. And that's why I've picked up the size. I would like to have the 100 mil size, but I do have a lot of perfumes now. And I do try and rotate through them. So I thought the 50 mil would be a really good size. So this has, as the middle note, is rose. And then you've also got some citrus in here as well. And some pink pepper. It is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put some on now. So I think doing a Chanel Le Beige's look, the way it was supposed to be done, keeping everything very minimal, but giving this beautiful summer lit from within glow is just an absolutely gorgeous look. I think if you're interested in the travel sizes, definitely pick them up. I think that would be great if you do travel a lot. But as I was saying, I don't. I am going to be going overseas this year, but I'm not going to pick them up just for that one trip. But if you haven't tried the bronzing creams before, this is a great time to try them out. 
and also if you were interested in seeing what the other shades look like on today I just used the light and the medium and as I was saying they work really beautifully together and if you just go really easy with it you still get a beautiful warmth but it's really subtle but you can build it up if you want to and you may want to see what the other shades were like and now you may want to pick one up especially now with this limited edition travel sizes that was the thing I think I forgot to mention that the travel sizes the oil you've got the foundation and also the bronzing creams they are all limited edition and my favorite out of the lot and that's probably because they're new and that is the two Coco Rouge flashes my favorite is the one that I've got on destination that's the one that I'm going to be reaching for the most with my everyday makeup as I was saying earlier I do reach for these if I'm rushing out the door and I want to throw a lipstick in my bag that I can easily reapply and especially with the nude you don't even have to look in a mirror and they just look gorgeous they just enhance your lips the nude shades and give this really subtle glow I think they are gorgeous and no they don't last that long on the lips but especially if you've got one of the more nude shades they are very easy just to take out your lipstick and reapply and keep them looking beautiful all day and as soon as I know that these are released in Canada and the US like I was saying I will let you know on the community post and also on my Instagram stories as well so that's it for today's video I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time bye